All right, man, it's your boy M. Lee on the films here, coming at you guys with a car vlog. Just literally just clocked out of work right now. I'm about to head home. Wasn't planning on making a vlog because I got a lot of YouTube videos and vlogs to catch up to already as it is. I really had to come at you guys with this topic because it's really a problem, you know what I'm saying? Elderly women and men will come up to me and be like, oh, I asked other workers, uh, could they help me find this item? And no one act like they wanted to help me and stuff like that. And this lady today was saying the same thing. And you know, I really take the time to help just everybody. But when it comes to the elderly, you gotta understand, like it's a lot of things they can't do. This other, this one lady about a month ago, I went, she gave me money and I went and went shopping for her. Like I got a couple of things for her. This is why I was at work, working, you know? You know, I stopped what I was doing. I went to go grab her some batteries, grab her a couple of other things, went and paid for it, came back, gave her a receipt, gave her a change. You know what I'm saying? And she was really happy and delighted. And, and that was it. That's just what, I think that's what every worker should do, especially at Walmart, especially given the fact that, you know, we post a whole, a certain type of, you know, quality, a certain type of, you know, and some people look at it as a gimmick, like, oh, well, this is just another job, you know? And it is just another job. But it's like I said in some of my other videos, you gotta make the best of what you do. You can't just because, oh, I'm working at McDonald's, so, you know, I'm just gonna act as if I work at, no, fuck that. If I worked at McDonald's, I'll bullshit you not. I'll be the best one. I make sure I'm one of the best McDonald's person there is. Make sure every person that comes to my store feels good when I'm there. Like I, you know what I'm saying? Mc it's just, you gotta make the best of what you, where you at. Make the best of what you got, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, back on topic, you know, especially at my Walmart, there's a lot of older women, older gentlemen and stuff like that, especially early in the morning. They can't reach up high, they can't walk that fast. You got these dumbasses driving around with electric wheelchairs, so by the time the elderly get to it, it's all dead, and then the Walmarts don't fucking care. I mean, the Walmart managers don't care. I, I approached them a couple of times, pulled them to the side and said, hey, we need to stop these people from just riding around at the wheelchairs that have nothing wrong with them. They just want to be lazy and just be stupid. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we can't stop customers from doing that. The fuck you mean? You can't, excuse my language, but like this, that stuff irritates me. Like that gets on my nerves, especially when I have people, I don't know why people think I'm the manager, but people constantly coming up to me like, oh, I can't find a wheelchair. Oh, could you help me? Oh, and then even associates come to me and ask me questions about stuff. Like, oh, this customer need help with this. He need help with that. If we all knew how to work as a team, if you paid attention to what you were doing with your job when you're stocking stuff, you would know where everything is. I work inside the frozen department, but I can tell a female where some lotion is, a certain type of female lotion, because I pay attention to everything I do. When I'm doing return carts, when I'm going to different departments, putting items where it goes, I keep a mental note where it goes. You know what I'm saying? So when a customer asks me, cause it's a repetitive thing, people are gonna constantly ask you where something is. Never in a million years did I ever think that I'd be able to get to the point where I'm able to say, oh, Al 16, Al 12, Al 8. I'm able to do that now. Oh, it's right around here. Take this left turn right here. It's gonna be on your left side on the, on the second from the bottom shelf. Just like that. Because I really care about I'm a businessman. That's just at the end of the day. But that's not why I care about the elderly. You gotta understand, they was here before us. Like, they put us here, literally. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's not literally those people that put you here, but it's the, the simple fact of the matter is, people that was here before you ran this shit before you were here. So, respect that. Just because they old, just because they can't hardly speak clearly, just because like, you gotta, you gotta, Take your time and you got to treat them like they're your kids. Not saying that they're a kid, but I'm saying you got to, that's how much you got to show care. Especially when you're working at a damn store. It's like, that's your job. Now he was telling me how you couldn't even get a TV on Black Friday. It's supposed to be one per customer, but these people putting all kind of TVs inside the other people's basket. And since she old and stuff and she want a TV, everybody ignoring her. So it's like, oh, we're going to ignore her. She ain't, she ain't nobody. Like people ignore elderly like, they, like they're not a person. And that's how it is. When you get the older you look, the, the more people just think that you ain't shit. Think that you just don't know nothing. You old, you old school. You don't know nothing about nothing about nothing. You know, when it's, for the most part, it's complete. It's the complete opposite. Think about it like this. You Would you want people to treat your grandma a certain type of way when she go to a store and, you know what I'm saying? You trying to, your grandma can't hardly walk and the wheelchairs is all dead and stuff because these young ass kids over here playing around inside of it or even grown ass adults. You know what I'm saying? I just thank God I'm not like that. That's all I got to say. You know what I'm saying? All I can do is lead, lead, lead a lot of these horses out here. You know what I'm saying? It's up to other everybody else to follow suit and learn and, and grow as a people and, and treat everybody better than what we have been. That's it. 
I can be using my my damn all this to spit game at women real smoothly. Instead, I'd rather get on YouTube and spit some game to people out here to really better themselves and better myself as well. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. Thank you.